Hi, this is an uh, electrical bike, an e-bike, and well, usually we will use the uh, nickel, uh, whatever, uh, um, battery to get us going. And as you know, the motor will start at a specific speed. There's a pickup element somewhere down here, if you can see it, but that's not my interest. What have I done? I'm going to use this motor as a generator. So, let's follow the leads. There's a minus, <laughs> sorry, minus and a plus. I'm using a diode because otherwise the current will flow out, of course, um, because the motor will take back what it needs. I have attached a couple of capacitors they are 2.7 volts at 25 farads each, so I've got 50 farads per pair. I've hooked up a couple of, uh, of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, whatever. They're just to get me a buffer, and as you can see, they are being drained down. I've got 11.8 volts. What's the idea? We're going to play using the generator to give some power to this power inverter. I uh, hooked up, just for fun, uh, an LED light and a power meter. And in order to do this, I'm not using a tripod, so I'll try to keep still. Um, I need to switch it on. And I need to turn around the wheel. Let's see what happens. What will happen to the power? Ah, I'm charging up the capacitors now. Um, and I can go, um, I think, oh, well, 14 volts maybe. Okay. Oh, well, you can see it's dropping down faster than I would like. Let's Power it up really good. Okay, let's flick on the lights and start turning the wheel again. And there we go. Let's have a look. I have got 13 volts approximately. I can stop, but it will drop down very quickly. So, well, just give it a push. Sorry, the camera will go all everywhere. Here's the light. <laughs> it's just to have something to show you. Um, I can't look at the display, but it shows 3.7 watts. So the power inverter is doing its job. And all I need to do, turn the wheel and let the motor do its job. And of course, if I stop turning around, let's shake up real good. Oh, well, it does take some power to it. Okay. And here we go 11 volts, 10.9, 10.6, 10.5, 10 volts, and it goes up. And the uh, voltage bumps up to 10.9 volt again. Just a simple idea, let's hook up something to the e-bike and use it as a generator. And of course, in case of emergency, you now know how to get easy access to your 220 volts or 110 volts. But mind you, this one has an input of um, 12 volts um, and I can show you what happens. If I disconnect it, so, like so, and let's see, the e-bike is operating at 24 volts. So, this means if I'm going to continue turning the pedals, pushing the pedals, I can go up somewhere. Oh, well, I gotta be careful, it can fall off easily. Well, 17 volts. 
what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use 50 farads to push the motor. Let's see what happens. You can hear it. 50 farads now pushing the wheel. And well, doesn't look too bad. Of course, if I would brake, if I would, if I were to try and stop it, ouch, <laughs> that's hot. It's really kind of strong, you know. Yes. Well, look at this. I'm at 13 volts now. I can imagine if you. Well, I drive the bike uh, for uh, uh, some meters or yards, or whatever, and you can charge up this very small capacitors. You could drive, drive out, of course, uh, and use some of the power back. We're not in a race car, but well, the idea is the same. Every time you're going to um, hit the brakes use it to charge up the capacitors and look how small they are they're really really tiny I don't know if it's in focus but 25 farads well use your imagination and maybe you will come up with other ideas the bike is here so I can try out anything you like however I have already tried running this light at 40 watt and um, well it's I, I didn't like it it just cost me quite a lot of power with turning it with, with my hands with my arms so don't think it's going to be easy this way to generate electricity and if I keep the caps on I feel a lot of resistance but as you can see I'm also powering it up okay I hope this brings some other people to ideas and let's discuss it down below in the comments and always rate do you like it or not the idea I mean because some people have this bike at hand or can get one by the way I just got this one from my brother-in-law so thank you Victor I'm going to play a lot with it as you can see okay have a nice day bye